can we can you just give us your opinion about families you know like in the black family that I feel like they put their kids out way too fast like when yeah. you turn 18 it's time to get your own job it's time to go to college it's time to do this this didn't happen personally to me but a lot of people that are broken they had to like either go out there and find a way yeah. or even even provide for their single mother at the time you know or whatever the case may be so what do you think about you know um, I wouldn't even say adults uh, adolescents leaving the house at 18 or younger yeah. what do you think about that <clears throat> I don't think that that's good for a family institution that wants to stick together and build family work. yeah you understand me Because that's really what it's uh, about most of the time we send our children out there to go find themselves when mm -hmm. they were supposed to know who they are inside the household mm -hmm. know thyself yeah right one of the biggest issues that man has period is he don't know who he is yeah so if you send him to an institution around a bunch of other people who don't know who they are they're going to become more lost yeah confused even yeah right trying to find themselves in a career path that was pre-chosen for them so that they can be citizens under somebody else's rule and structure i don't believe in college in the same way that everybody else do right and nor do i believe in high school because i think that high school is a very ineffective way of teaching children the improper skill sets you understand me that don't allow them to go out in society and truly succeed yeah right you go through high school and you get through four years and that education doesn't teach you right how to build wealth yes like if they go get an education in a capitalist society, it's teach you how to be a proper capitalist of anything. Yeah. To teach you how to build wealth in this society, right? Mm -hmm. And the fact that they don't teach you crypto, I mean, not well now crypto, yeah. They don't even teach stock, real yeah. estate, taxes. Thought leadership, credit, yes. real estate. Creativity. How to file the actual paperwork. All of those small yes. nuanced things are way yes. more important, right, than... You learning the electron count of some, you know, chemical that you probably never going to utilize yes. throughout life. Mm -hmm. And it's not to say that science is not important. Yeah. Right? But the way that you teach science has to be, you know, specifically cultivated for that child that's interested in it, number one, and also in a way that's gonna be relevant once they leave this school. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Like to teach the science is to teach the interest of the world, to get you interested and get your mind sparked. And I love science because science, you know, it, it, it deals with how the world works, right? Yes, absolutely. But then there's also understanding, you know, sociology and psychology and yes. economics, yes. right? And constitution and, mm -hmm. and, and, and organic laws of the constitution yes. and, and the true USC story code. of the world. Those are the things that's really going to prepare you. How to yes. be a man and a woman, understanding your masculine and feminine divinity in this world. And high mm -hmm. school don't prepare you for none of that. But at the same time, high school created opportunities because everything they didn't teach, we now can create a course out of. Absolutely. Right? So that's where you get like bridging wealth opportunities. But Absolutely. So when a person goes through high school and they get a four-year education, mm -hmm. right? Um, and this education still hasn't prepared them fully for the world because four years is a lot of time. It you is. You need to be going every single day, right? And getting an education and then leaving every single day without skill sets. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Makes no goddamn sense whatsoever. Period. You should yeah. have a money skill that creates you a stream of income. There's yeah. no excuses. No excuses. Right? And so that's why I say high school is ineffective. Mm -hmm. Right? And so then here a child is average 18 years old and now they kicked out the, high school, the household to go find themselves as if high school prepared them for the world. Yeah. Right? They don't know who they are, don't know how they brain work, how they how they mind operates, don't have true knowledge of self, don't have real principles, yeah. codes of conduct, values, don't have skill sets that they can go utilize, immediately apply, and be able to do for self. So, you know, the racket of telling your child that it's time for you to leave to go get you some freedom because you want to kick them out because you no longer want to raise your child. Okay. Right? That's really the reality of it. Yeah. And it's been sold and passed down to us through indoctrination. In Let's get to that. So you're right. It has been passed down to us through indoctrination because that was going to be my question. For people that wasn't raised in the household with two parents or even with strong parents, like it is a lot. Like I agree with you about, you know, high school being ineffective and even college unless you're really learning a skill. Right. I agree with you. But what about the people whose parents are not? parenting so i seen this interview maybe last week with chico bean and he was like saying that he feel that the crack 
uh, epidemic did more than the 400 years of slavery and what do you what is your opinion on it on that well i definitely want to say more okay um because there's areas where the crack epidemic didn't affect black people absolutely and they still have the ingrained ingrams of slavery they still mm -hmm. are dealing with right the um society in the world that slavery created which is the united states of america yeah right so slavery affected the whole world in a way that it was built through an institution of power and the black body and the way that these masonic rituals were set up and how they created insurance and how they created the stock market right? yes and, and even branding and marketing yes based on the things that they learned through slavery yeah right like slavery being 400 years can never be compared to crap being 20 30 years right absolutely so i get what he's saying as far as how he's looking at the residual effects of something that happened just decades ago yes rather than something that happened a century ago mm -hmm. right but slavery never ended right we know yeah. that it transformed yeah. into you know a mental slavery right and then we also go look at the prison system yes and see slavery continuing and then Absolutely. we look at the paperwork system constitutionally and the social security and the birth certificates yes. and the bonds and we know that slavery definitely didn't end it just transformed into a different form absolutely right so not nah, slavery in the united states of america can never be compared to any other thing absolutely on the planet because if it wasn't for slavery the crack epidemic absolutely wouldn't you understand me it was it was a lot of people you know during that epidemic um which still persists and exists today you know the the 80s uh, it was a height of revolution, right? Mm -hmm. Black people were really gaining a sense of self. Yeah. Afrocentric thought process started to happen in Harlem. You had people dressing up in the yeah. Afrocentric robes and power to the people and thinking about economic change. And they were at the height of dissatisfaction, right? And then, of course, you got Reaganomics that came in with the crack and then imploded uh, because a lot of people didn't know what crack was. Yes, right? yes. You just got something like if, if you know, now it mind-boggling that people still becoming new base heads as new crackheads been yeah absolutely today. um and that's after the fact yeah right? mm -hmm. where they see how bad it was right how it affected their it. family and absolutely. a lot of families yeah but you know you got to understand that before there was the crack epidemic right you had the 60s when you had a lot of brothers coming out of war mm -hmm. right mm -hmm and a lot of that post-traumatic trauma yeah. because before crack you had heroin yeah right and heroin was rampant throughout the streets and yeah. that's a very addictive drug right mm -hmm. the most addictive drug in the world so you had the the heroin epidemic and then you had the height of black people trying to rise out of that right yeah. and then here come crack to kill the revolutionary thought process yeah right and so you know uh, you have to conjoin all of these things together you can't just start at crack epidemic and say that's yeah. the worst because you still got to go to heroin you have to go through the 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 vietnam war mm -hmm. right and then you have to continuously go back and every single decade you're going to find an issue right and for that generation it seemed like it was worse than any other thing that had happened because it's right there in front of right. your face yes absolutely i agree yeah but when it comes to 400 years of slavery you know, that's a thing that we still don't understand so we can't get over it, mm -hmm. right? You have to understand how it affected you, mm -hmm. right? You have to be properly diagnosed so you'll know exactly how to cure it. Mm -hmm. And that's why history is so important because if we don't know the past, how yes. the hell can we properly diagnose the problem to make ourselves present and become yes. successful now? Absolutely. So those who are ignorant of the past will never have power over the future. 